What's good everybody, it's your boy Jason Fox4 here, and today I have to be perfectly honest with you, we need to go back, back in time, and talk about, uh, you know, Rule 34 and their racism, because that's just uh, how that website kind of is, honestly, but yeah, definitely, we need to talk about Rule 34 and a certain type of kink that a lot of people seem to have on that website, and I don't know why Rule 34 is so racist with it, and I don't understand why they go so toxic with it in anything they do, even if it's not racism. Lollies is a heavy topic on there. But anyway, we needed to go ahead and talk about race play. Now, this is a, and for whoever may not know what it is, essentially race play is essentially like, oh, one, superior, one race is superior at smashing and, you know, clapping cheeks than another race, and they try to go in on it, I guess like just talking mad shit in the grade which that's i feel unnecessary but it it is a real thing and it is what it is so you know it, it just be like that i guess but the way rule to the four goes about it it's just absolutely wild now obviously rule to the four is a huge site where the gentai is as honestly the biggest library of gentai material that you'll ever find but the biggest thing about it is obviously is it has a bunch of racist people on it it has a bunch of really messed up type of toxic trolling ass people that's on said website and it just gets worse every time you take a look at it or hear something for it honestly road 4 is like then it's like literally the second 4chan it is just that bad at times and it really kind of sucks that you have to that sometimes we have to go onto that website either uploading our pictures or going out there to download our pictures to get some research material and having to deal with that toxicness all the same if you pay attention to the comment section of each thing when it comes down to race play they really take it like seriously like way too seriously like people go as far as to you know straight up just blast people with the n-word or go as far as to you know say the most racist things and things i really can't repeat on this whips can't repeat on youtube because definitely i will get canceled for it but you know just imagine the worst most messed up sentence that you can say and then that's what you have on Real Dirty 4. Essentially, that's what you have, honestly. And it really doesn't stop, honestly, especially since everybody can be anonymous on there. You know, they can pretty much say whatever they want and then just dip off like nothing ever happened. And that's just unfortunate. Now, obviously, when it comes to race play as a, you know, a kink, I don't think it's that bad. I don't necessarily think it's 100% the worst thing ever. I can see where the toxicity comes in. I can see why I can make someone uncomfortable, obviously. But it goes into a real racist territory real quick. Honestly. Obviously, it's a bit unnecessary. It, at, just on a base level, it's already unnecessary. But it gets really crazy, especially when you add things like Nazi stuff in it. For whatever reason. Because World of the Four like Nazis for whatever reason. Which, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of the madness was caused by Shadman. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case, considering his content is very, you know, controversial as well. Need I remind you, his damn mother. Still, how the hell did you lose your own mother? I don't know. I think the biggest offender, honestly, would definitely have to be, you know, the videos that people would make when it comes down to it when it comes down to this kink play honestly because when it comes down to it they be a real deal be having videos being like huh blacks can satisfy some nice ass anime women whites can be locked up in a cage and only cry well as we pound them i'm like why why even as a black person myself that feels a bit cringe and i'm not gonna lie honestly so and you know, it's nothing new. And again, when it comes to Rule 4, racism isn't nothing new, unfortunately. But that's just how it is. And it's so weird how people take it so seriously. Like, a lot of people on that site legit believe that, oh, blacks are superior when it comes to smashing. Or whites are superior when it comes to smashing. Or some Nazi dudes are superior, which they are never superior. And they should be kicked in the face, honestly. And when it comes down to it for me... Everybody's superior, personally, because we're all equal. Shut up. Shut, shut up. Shut up. I don't want to hear no. I don't want to hear it. No, shut up. We should be looking at each other in a nice, wholesome-ass way. Instead of a racist-ass way, as humanity, you know, usually do. 
And for someone that might be thinking, okay, so if there are a lot of racist songs that people on Road to the Four, and there's people that makes a lot of weird shit, does that mean that the artist that makes the kind of race play stuff racist too? While I can't necessarily say for sure, I don't necessarily think that is the case in every single instance. That's like saying all traps are gay when not all traps are gay, which we could say that for another video, but not now though. But overall, while I can see the turn on and I understand it in some shape and form, like definitely Jiro getting ganged by, ganged up by a bunch of black guys, that sound nice, obviously you have memes with that, which is fine. And, you know, in a sexual type of way, I guess it's fine as well, especially if you keep it private. But, you know, in this type of sense, if you're gonna just go as far as to just completely shit on other races, or just go as far as to do whatever to make one race sound superior and legitimately believe in it, then it gets really cringy and really stupid really fast. And again, it just feeds, no it does nothing more than just feed the negative side of Rule Dirty 4 that we don't need to see anymore, honestly. But that's just really how it is. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to bring up with this one. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification on your way out. Also follow me on Twitter to so talk and like to donate to the channel. Patreon and Ko-Fi is available as well. And so then, this is your boy Jay, signing off. Have a blessed day. Baby, say my name as if you got a fucking clue. Always caught up in the moment, not condoning what I do. I've been messing with my chemistry to find the better me. Putting thoughts up on the page in hopes that you could get to me. Been this way since a jit. My brain couldn't quit. Running from my issues, roll the pain in a split. Fade away every hit. Nobody needed me to afraid to commit.